Hi, can I be transferred to room service? Thank you. Um, can he have gluten-free pancakes? Oh, perfect. And then can I get a bagel with cream cheese? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you have green juice? Oh, can I just get two of those? Thank you. You hear that, baby? We're getting pancakes. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Why are you sleeping at the end of the bed? So I just ordered us room service because we slept in. Chris isn't feeling good, so I'm trying to be quiet. I got a pancake. He went missing last night for a few hours. And now he's sleeping at the end of the bed. A little bit confused, but I'm glad he's okay. Okay, so I got a bagel, some green juices, and gluten-free pancakes. <laughs> I think he's doing okay. I don't know. He hasn't. He hasn't really moved. He's not. I don't know if I should be worried. I'm gonna surprise Chris with a baby. 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 Mm. Look. <laughs> Look what I got you. What is that? It's a pancake. What? <laughs> <laughs> a pancake. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you enjoy that? <laughs> I knew he'd take the bait. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I will just keep feeding him pancakes until he feels better. I think it's working. Um, we have one pancake left. It's been an hour since the last. Let's see if we can help him in. You got this. Chris. Mm-hmm. Pancake. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't even worry. How are you feeling? So, I've been feeling like booty today. Um, I do not recommend drinking. <laughs> Pretty much the whole day I've been like in pain with a headache and just barely able to walk. Bad idea, no bueno. How's your tummy? I feel better. I slept till like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. I went in last night for one drink. <laughs> I got pulled into the bar world. <laughs> Made a bunch of friends in there, but I drank too much. Town or taxes? They're teaching you about taxes? Yeah. The old people you met at the bar? Yeah. It's rich. It's rich old dude just telling me about taxes. I'm sorry, you missed it, but this bird, dead ass, just ate a hot Cheeto from the floor. Cheeto's gone. Oh wait. Oh, you found it! <laughs> Maybe a nice salad will heal the Chris. So both of our keys aren't working for the door now. Then I've got to go to the front. And my baby is dying over here. So another birthday gift came really late. I ordered a ton of things, but I honestly don't know what's coming and what's not. But it's not fully like just one gift. It's kind of for me too. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna let Chris open it though. Okay, so we were just at the front and they <laughs> took away our all inclusive because um, it was like four days later and then the company we booked it with went back and then they're like, oh snap, we didn't mean to give them all inclusive. And it was a whole situation. Now they're trying to make us pay for the all inclusive that we didn't even ask for. True. They're like, well, it was, it was the, uh, it was the booking company's boo boo but they're asking for you to pay $800 <laughs> for all-inclusive. They're like, so you can think on it. But then there's also the option to not pay for it. There's just very confusing conversation. If we were to not have all-inclusive and all of the dinners we had throughout the week and lunches, 
it still wouldn't have added up to $800. Yeah. At least we got tacos. Hey, baby. Yeah. Your other gift is here. We have another issue. The sink is clogged. Is that all of is that all your beard hairs? <laughs> There's too many beard hairs, yo. Okay, this will make you feel better. A little perfect time for it to come. No, you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna like it. Trust me. Dual Series Sonic Whitening Toothbrush set? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna share a toothbrush? Wait a second. <laughs> I think it comes with two, baby. Oh, shit. Unless it's, unless it's half and half. <laughs> I got you a toothbrush that's half and half. <laughs> but it's an electric toothbrush. Oh, wow. Because I know yeah. you lost yours and I lost mine. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Our teeth need some good cleaning. <laughs> I just want to see if there's two or not. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can have a black one or I think so. You can have a black one or a white one. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> no more plastic toothbrush. What the? Oh, so right now I'm making vegan gluten-free hot pockets, which are basically like calzones, or my dad would call them panzerottis. I don't even know if that's a word. But I'm not gonna show the whole cooking process, but I'm just making beyond meat and I have like vegetables in there. pockets be roasted. I don't know what happened to that one, but they look good. I mean, they're not the prettiest because I obviously, well, I didn't fold them well, but they're huge. I did not mean to make them that big. On another note though, check the goldenness of this hot pocket. Weird day. Yeah, I pretty much laid in bed all day. Hold up, y'all see that? Ooh. No, no, I was making one. When somebody knows like what's best for you and they don't agree with it, you will never actually understand where they're coming from until you actually like learn the lesson yourself. Thinking about that too, like with parents? With it's parents, so yeah. It's like you, you rebel against what they tell you to do because they know what's right, so you can learn it yourself. Mm -hmm. Why I don't push veganism, or I don't really try to push veganism on anybody, yeah. Especially online, because unless somebody is literally in the same vibration, they're not gonna understand. They're not gonna actually yeah. get it at all, and then it's gonna be like. There's no use in forcing anybody to do anything. No. People have control of their own lives. They're learning their lessons. We're learning our lessons. Everyone's on a different wave too, mm -hmm. different wavelength. But I mean, that is the thing, though. It's always the it's always truth that surfaces, and then it can't be mm -hmm. fought against. Like, like us and. Dan, Beyond Meat. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend Dan doesn't like Beyond Meat. My body has been feeling weird, so... Because your tummy's upset. Because I was just digesting a bunch of alcohol I couldn't digest. <laughs> What's the matter at you? <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> Sorry, body. Yeah, when I was really hungry for that one day, the only thing that fixed me was meditating for like three hours. Oh really? Did it help? I guess you do it for pain quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's because you can, like, um, focus on the area of pain, and then you just pay attention to it, and it goes away. That's wild. Not in an irritated way, but just yeah. recognize, like, when you're out of shot, like, recognizing where it is in your body. Interesting. And, like, feeling the space of it, like, how Joe would say, like, feeling the space. Oh, and then you can choose to let go. Well, mostly you just focus on it, and then the pain just like disintegrates. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like directing the healing there. I think the it's body's like, tension. You gotta go to that quantum world, yo. That's cool. I should try that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't try to do that. <laughs> different people and interest in different things in different places. So, and you have to remove the. Well, it's like a toxic friendship. Mm -hmm. You have. A group of toxic friends, and you're not going to attract the right friend group into your life until you get rid of the toxic ones and you have nothing to do with them anymore. And then there's room and space for you to find the new ones. Like you can't have both at the same time. So was I saying? What I was saying was, to go to a bar is not the only way to meet somebody, and to eliminate that, 
not completely, but to not have that as the go-to and then have something else that's more in alignment with you, mm -hmm. then that's how you're gonna find people who are in alignment with everything you like doing. Like you could probably go to a book club, you can meet some old people there, which is cool. You could go to like that Dungeons and Dragons thing. Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to try that too. I feel like you'd actually like it. Yeah. Using your mind to be creative and create crazy, crazy, crazy imaginary game. Yeah, that's wild. Mm -hmm. It's like doing a live meditation that you're all part of, but it's a game. I wonder if we should make games like that. Imagine meditation games <gasps> that you can play with other people yeah. and create this world together. So pretty much just be imagined <laughs> together. <laughs> just be a kid and just imagine yeah. with your friends. Yeah, exactly. It's cool. It's literally the crystals in your brain. Really? Yeah. It reflects this, these little crystals in your pineal gland that mm -hmm. open up, and then those crystals trap specific frequency that you're now able to see from. So oh. like when you tap in, then you get the release of like uh, dopamine, DMT, the um, what's it called that makes you sleep, melatonin. Those are the same chemicals that are produced when you get a high meditation. You know what would be wild? You know, you're trying to advertise meditation. Mm -hmm. For like younger crowds, what if you, what if that was like the advertisement? Cause like all younger crowds like are looking for like drugs and stuff. Yeah. To, like for DMT, to feel happy. But if you like said that there's a release of DMT and all like of Like natural this, drugs, yeah. Natural drugs. And all you have to do is just get in a deep meditation. You don't even need to buy anything. You know how many kids would probably try that? And then they True. get addicted to and it. and that would be so much healthier way to get addicted to it. Yeah, but it'd be addiction in a good way because it'd be healthy. Damn. 